Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to control the stem decks with the Tractor Control S4. Now, at the time that I made the Tractor Pro 2 software course, you could not control the stem files with the S4, and you couldn't even control it in the software. You had to have a controller like the D2, for instance, to control the stem files. But now, in the meantime, since I made that last course and making this course, they've opened it up so you can control the stem files not only with the S4, but you can control it independently in the software without any controller at all. So I'm gonna show you both ways on how to do that. So first with the S4. Now, just as a reminder, you have to set up your stem deck right here. So if you just click the deck letter, you can scroll between track deck, remix deck, stem deck, and live input. So we have our stem deck selected right there. And just as a reminder to you guys, a stem file is a special audio file that has four audio layers in it. So you can play it like a normal MP3 in a track deck, but if you load it into a stem deck, then you have access to four individual files that make up that one audio file, and then you can control those independently. And I went super deep into that in the Tractor Pro 2 course. So if you wanna learn more in depth about stems, definitely check that one out. But this is how you control it with the S4. So it's loaded up right now, and we have drums, bass, synth, and vox effects. So you can control these with the remix slots buttons right here. So as long as it's a stem deck that's activated, these will now function as on off buttons for each individual stem. So if I play the track right here and let's jump to a spot where there are all four things playing, which is coming up pretty soon. So now if I just wanna play the drums, I just activate the drum slot right there. If I just wanna play the bass, give the bass the synths, and then the vocal, if it comes back up, there it is. And you can play two or three, you can turn them off and on independently, however you want. Now, if I press shift and a remix slot button in the stem deck, it will activate these two encoder knobs right here. This one will now function as a volume for that stem that's selected and this one will function as a high low pass filter. So it kind of works the same as it did in the remix decks. Uh, so you just press shift and one of the slots or multiple slots, you can do more than one at a time. So let's just press play and I'm gonna press on the drums. So now I can control the volume. So I'm just gonna turn those off just so you can hear it actually. Turning it down and then turning it up. And then we have the high low pass filter. And you can do this for multiples at a time. So let me skip to a part where they're all playing and do it with this one. So now I'm controlling the high low pass on both of those stems. And you can have the others playing independently without the filter and just control the filter on the ones that you have selected. To deactivate that, all you gotta do is press shift and the remix slot again. Or if you have two at once, you can do shift and both at the same time. Now the S4 doesn't give you the same amount of functionality as say the D2 controller. However, you can still do a ton with it just with these buttons right here and these knobs. And then if you want to add effects, like turn them off and on, you can either have it all the, already on the channel and just turn it off and on using your effects unit right here, but that will be for the entire stem file. So that will be all the stems. If you want to add effects independently on the stems, then you need to go over into the software. However, if you have a D2, then of course you can do it on that controller. But this one is really good if you already have this controller and you wanna try out stems, this is a great option for you to try them out with a controller without having to buy another expensive piece of gear. So let's go into the software now and you can turn your effects sends on and off just by clicking these right here. So I have a delay set up right here on the group effects on effects unit two. Now you do have to make sure that you have the effects turned on, assigned on the channel that you're working on. So we're working on channel B. So I have the effects already on, because if you don't have it on, then you won't hear it. So you gotta have that on and then you press play. 
So now I can control the effects on and on. So I'm just gonna have the drums on just so you can hear it independently. And now you hear the delay on that. And you can affect it here too. You wanna turn it on and off. So this is just on that one stem right there. If I want to add it to multiple stems, you can turn it on like this as well. So you can control this completely internally within the software, just like this. So you have your volume right here. So I'm just going to press play here in the software. And let's back it up a little bit. So all the stems are activated with filters. So here's the volume. So you can turn it off and on with the volume. You have the filters right here. So those are already set, high, low pass filters right there. If you double click it, it centers it in the middle. And then, of course, you have your effects. And then, of course, you can trigger different ones here, depending on what you want to do. So it's super easy to control a stem just directly into the software now. Before, you remember, if you looked at it beforehand, you wouldn't even see anything. You just see a normal MP3 file. Uh, even though it would be a stem file, the only way to see the individual stems was to look on the D2 controller or one of the tractor controllers with a screen. Uh, however, now you can see all four stems in the software, which is awesome, and control it just independently in the software, or you can use your tractor control S4 and control it with the controller. So that's how you can control stem files, both with the tractor control S4 controller and independently in the software. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.